So you want to get into blacksmithing, but maybe you don't know where to start, or maybe you are on a limited budget. This week, I'm covering anvils and anvil-shaped objects. And needless to say, there's a lot of difference between this railroad track and this 125-pound anvil. The biggest difference you're going to see between an anvil and pretty much any anvil-shaped object is the rebound. And that's because anvils are made to do their job. High quality anvils have hardened faces, good geometry, a lot of mass, good rebound to be used for their intended purpose. You're not going to find almost any of that with any anvil shaped object. That said, anvils tend to cost a pretty penny. And just like the hammer we talked about in my last video, there are other options that might better fit your budget, and that is what this is all about. So what are those other options? There's effectively as many options as you can even imagine. I've seen people use sledgehammers. I've heard of people using the tines of a forklift. I've heard of people using large, flat-sided dumbbells. I've seen people use just large chunks of steel. There are people that use rocks. Believe it or not. Now, I'm no geologist, so I don't know what type of rock would be best suited, but any hard, flat surface that you can make work is gonna work for you until you can afford something better. Now, this is a chunk of railroad track. I was given this by my grandfather, and this is what I started with. It's very common to be used as a beginner anvil or anvil substitute. I cannot stress this enough, do not steal from the rail service. The last time, I showed you something pretty small, just a little ass hook. This time I'm going big. start scripting my videos but you can in fact go to Harbor Freight go on Amazon uh, you know find really inexpensive anvils not to the same level of quality as a nice anvil that you can find recommendations from other blacksmiths but they are usable go for it cost shouldn't hold you back from starting the fundamentals if you like this video drop a like comment follow me and I'll see you on the next one